What is up, everybody? This is Beetle Five, keeping the beat with Frambo. When we last left off, we uh, took a little car ride with Doctor Dern, and now we're uh, in the cemetery where my parents and supposedly me are buried. And we met this little pinecone guy here, and he claims that I must first find leather. Did you find the leather? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And for your mating ritual, God knows what that will entail. So apparently, I'm looking for leather. I'm guessing maybe I could just strip the seats of his car. With the knife, maybe? Just that just seems that. Yep. Yeah. Oh well, I have the leather. Yeah, that 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 seemed a little too obvious. Like most car seats are all made of leather. I have the knife that I've kind of kept with me throughout the entire game now. Well, I got it at the I got it at the sister's house. And I've had it ever since. There you go. There's your leather. Well, thank you, giant miss. Our tribe, the Pine Zealous, will be happy. And now I'll open the door. Just a second. All right. Sounds good. I think I was getting shoveled. Oh, right. Oh, hello. Okay. That didn't look like it hurt. <laughs> Ouch. Are you alright, Sebastian? Sebastian? Oh, shit. Are you dead? Oh. Huh. Oh, no, you're okay. <laughs> I'm I'm alright, miss. Yes. Huh, good. Well, thank you. You opened the door. You're welcome, giant miss. Uh, Fabio. Oh, look. Hey, Fabio. Where, where, where are you going, Fabio? Where are you going? Oh, I have to go, miss. Good night. Uh, hey, Fabio. Wait for me. I have the leather. Okay. You go chase Fabio. I'm just gonna get my shit and go. Something here I could use. Oh, bullshit. BL shit. Bye, I'll go chase you guys. Oh, hi. Hey, cool, you found a shovel. There you are, Fred. Look, I found us a pair of shovels. Let's dig. Oh, okay, cool. Awesome. Awesome blossom. All right. Bam. Let's dig this bitch. Dig, dig, dig. Dig, dug, dig, dug, dig, dug. Well, now we'll have to come up with something to open the coffins. Uh, they're stuck. I had a crowbar in my car just in case, but I couldn't find it. Oh, I took the crowbar, sir. I needed to open a door. Do you want it back? No need, friend. But you could do the honors of opening the coffins. All right, sir. I'll open them. Oh, yeah, because that's such a real honor. Let, let the ten-year-old child open up the coffins of her dead parents. That's real fucking nice. All right. Let's do this. Oh, hi, daddy. Oh, father. The deedly worms took your eyes. Oh, that's nice. Oh, uh, hi, mommy. Oh, mother, you're so skinny. A bit too much. <laughs> okay. All right, now, this is the moment of truth. Will I really find my dead body in here? Because if I do, this is going to create a hell of a paradox. All right. Here we go. <gasps> Mr. Midnight! Woohoo! I'm not. <laughs> what? Are you kidding me? She goes, Woohoo! I'm not in the coffin, but my dead cat is! Holy shit, friend, you got problems! But that can't be my kitty because Mr. Midnight is home. Oh my god. So, Mr. Midnight is really dead? Did you see anything that could bring us closer to the killer? No, sir. I just feel really bad doing this, seeing my parents like this. Yeah, you fucking should! <laughs> also, that dead cat is not my cat. They're lying. Who is lying? Nobody's telling you this. I got solid evidence of the dead cat's body right there on the grave. <laughs> just the fact that they would bury the dead cat with the pears, that, that's really nice of them. <laughs> Friend, I told you, your cat was missing and maybe this one is actually your cat. It can't be, sir. I did find my kitty. You have to believe me. Take me home and I'll show you, please. All right, friend. I'll take you back home. I'll take care of this one li this later. I still need to find some clues. Thank you, sir. Let's go. All right, back home it is then. Don't really know what the point of digging up my parents' grave was. It's very fucked up. Oh shit! Oh no! 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 Come! Oh no! I need him. Vanished into the hands of darkness. You have no manners. I'm not afraid of you anymore. I've taken away from you the light, the one you love, the one you respect, Mr. Midnight, and the one you desire to love. You. Oh no, no, don't do anything with my eyes again. Nope, ah, oh, fuck, he did it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Remore is real, okay? You guys can say what the hell you want. He is fucking real. Who else is doing this crazy shit to me here? Oh my god, y you broken little girl. Oh, hi. The House of Madness invites you back inside. I thought the I thought the asylum was the house of madness, and I escaped. Oh sh oh god! If you want to find those you love, I have a big ass hole in my chest. In darkness, you must wake up. Oh, 
Wake up now, friend. Wake up! Wow. Chapter 5. The House of Madness. Holy shit, am I back at the asylum now? Oh, is that- is that- is that Aunt Grace? Oh shit, what? Uh oh. Aunt Grace, is that you? My darling, you finally woke up, you're at home, my dear. This is my home. Am I? Really? That's incredible. I'm so happy to see you. Please give me a hug. Um, I'm chained up. <laughs> Soon, my darling. And where is Mr. Midnight? <laughs> Your cat? Well, you know he ran away after what he did. What? After what he did? What? What? He ran away, but what did he do? Well, your cat killed my sister and your father. He's a true. What? So, Mr. Midnight killed my parent. What? How does that even make sense? He's a fucking cat! It, it, oh, Jesus. That's not true. It can't be true. He didn't do it. It doesn't matter if it's true or not. In the end, we must have a guilty one, right? Wait, wait, wait. If, so you're, you don't care if it's true or not, but you're just going to just go blame my cat of all people that you think the cat murdered my parents. <laughs> but you can't blame Mr. Midnight. He is my best friend. He's my only friend. <laughs> but it's easier to blame somebody else than taking... What? What? Did I even blaming somebody else? You're blaming an animal <laughs> that is not capable of doing such a crime. I will always take responsibility for my actors, even if they are not so good. What a good girl. Rest now, my darling. You need it. Holy shit, this is so bad. But hey, Grace, don't leave me. Why am I chained to the bed? Because your hands do bad things when they are untied. Oh, my God. What are you talking about? Uncuff me now. I have to go find Mr. Midnight. Little, little shiny friend, don't you worry about the lies. The seeker of the truth will always die because the evil will never hide. Little, little shiny friend, go to bed and sleep tight and forget the pain inside your mind. You were selected to suffer, to cry, and hate. But the darkness wants to free you from all disgrace. Sleep tight, my darling friend. Okay, bye! And the door just fucking disappears. Oh no, don't leave me here. Aunt Grace, come back, please! Why is she acting so strange? Why play Mr. Midnight? Kitty couldn't have killed my parents. His claws are so tiny and soft. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> I hope he is fine, but what should I do now? Oh, doesn't look like there's much I can do now. <laughs> tick tock, tick tock, crazy sound. It never stops. Now that I think about it, the clockmaker said that time is a layered reality. Oh, yeah, from E. Hirsta. I remember that guy. Maybe there's another version of me in this room in another time. What good does that do you, though? You don't have the pills. Or I'm just imagining things, but if it's true... How can I make contact with her? Dr. Dern said that everything is in my head. Um, I don't remember having the door removed. <laughs> yeah, it's because technically it's not. Uh, the nurse has always chained me to the bed. That's nice. I love this comic. Uh, whoa, whoa! What the hell? And the wind took all the magical dust away. It, is this a kid version of me? Oh, hello. What are you doing on my bed? Are you sick? Your bed? This is my bed. I know I'm not sick, but you are chained. Are you a dog? Wait, do I know you? Holy shit, did I just like go into the past? I'm not a dog, and yes, I'm chained. Can you unlock it? Whoa, you are myself. <laughs> you, what the fuck is going on here? <laughs> you think so? Then this means I managed to enter the old reality. Did you meet Itward already? He always talks about that. Oh my god, okay, so even... I was talking about it would even when I was a kid. Yes, I met him already, but I haven't seen him since the crash. You crash? That means you are broken. I'm not broken. Why would I say that? Think about it. The only way to cross into ultra-reality is to break the eyes, to break the ears, break the physical limitation. That sounds extreme. You think I'm dead? No, not at all. They told me that to die is just a mental state. They? Who are they? All the creatures that we could see, the black ones, the white ones... Do you know why we could see these things? Yes, a man called Leon came to visit one time and told me everything. Oh, and can you tell me then why we see the things we do? 
What about if I help you unlock the handcuffs first? Then we can talk. Good idea. I also need to find Mr. Midnight. I think he is in danger. Aunt Grace blames him for the death of our parents. Who is Mr. Midnight? What? That's our kitty. You know our best friend. Um, we literally only got Mr. Midnight, like, the night just before my parents were murdered. So this chick isn't going to know who they are. I don't have a cat. I guess that's the difference between us. Anyways, let me see if I can unlock you. It so happens that I'm a key collector. I'll be right back. Okay, so now I'm playing as young Fran. Why am I wearing ruby slippers? <laughs> oh, jeez, this thing was in the asylum. So, <laughs> I have a little buck teeth here. This is so funny. I'm so confused, though. Why the hell am I in the past? Uh, okay, bunch of shit. Hey! Hey, it's Itwin and Palantros! But but how could she know about Palantros and didn't go to Hirshta yet? Pens? <laughs> I have... Oh, that's nice. A straight jacket and my own outfit. Am I in the, in the asylum right now? Just grab a bunch of keys here. Okay. Is this this is the asylum? This is the asylum. Okay, you know what? Screw this then. Let's just unlock you. Please, friend, find a way to unlock me. I need to find Mr. Midnight. I'm on it. Don't panic. Okay, okay. I have the keys right here. Look, use. Bam. See? Let's see which key. Oh, lovely. Am I really gotta play this game? Alright, fine. Pfft, there we go. <laughs> that was almost rather pointless. Alright. Thank you so much, Fran. He, you really have a lot of keys in there. Yes, don't you? Oh, Fran, before I forget, Palantros told me that if we met someday, I should give this to you. Here, I think it will help you to open something. No way, that box! Palantros, you know him too? Well, thank you. Yes, he also told me that if we met, you would be ready for what's about to come up. What? Ready for what? Tell me. Oh, no, I can't now. She's coming. Be quiet. Who? Oh, that ugly nurse. Come on. Oh, excuse me. Come on, Fran. You must see the doctor now. Can you not see me? Uh, okay. Oh, oh, what the? What the? F no, don't go, little Fran. We have stuff to talk about. That nurse is a bad, bad, bad nurse. She was the one lying to the newspaper about me. How do you know that? Anyway, I must find the monster. I'm sure he took Mr. Midnight, but nobody can take my kitty away from me. Nobody! All right, let's, oh my God, wait. Oh, okay, good, I took this, all right, all right. The little golden box was having a hard time. All the screaming and all the Bookers were driving me mad. Okay, I press it by the ears, first twice to the left and once to the right. I rub its only eye two times to see if it has tears this time. I take him once by the left ear and scream, Stop whining, you little golden box. Press your eye again and open the door. Alright, so it's a combination. So, first, twice to the left, once to the right, two times on the eye. So, two left, one right on the eye. Okay, let's see this. Uh, no, let's examine it. I don't... Oh, oh, wait. Um... I poke... Oh, oh, I get it. Are these... Ah. It has so many buttons to press. One of these buttons has to, like... Oh, here we go. One, two, rev... Bam. No, 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 no. It was... It was... Hold on. Tw oh, twice to the left, once to the right. I had it mixed up. Oh, boy. Alright, let me try that again. Twice to the left, one, two, once right, poke in the middle. Uh, th the hell, that's what it says. Look at this. First, twice to the left, once to the right, and rub his- Oh, pff, twice in the middle. Jesus Christ, I'm- I'm stupid. I don't know. I'm at a loss now. <laughs> that's about all the time I got then for today, but- My God, the story gets crazier and crazier! It's- it's gonna be so cool when I finally beat this. But thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to leave a comment of what else I should play in the future. And I will see you guys next time. Laters!